Hi guys, are you ready for a story? This one is about sheep and we all know that sheep have wool that turns into yarn that we can knit with. Yay! All right, so this one is called The Sheep Who Hatched an Egg. And it has really cool pictures even before the story starts. Look at this sheep. She's taken a bubble bath. And now she's blow drying her hair. And now she's putting on hairspray. That silly sheep. Lola the sheep had extraordinary wool. It was shiny. It was silky. It was soft and it never tangled. Lola spent hours drying and brushing her wool to make it absolutely perfect. When she was finally ready, Lola loved walking through the farm. <gasps> Isn't she beautiful? <gasps> Isn't she perfect? Isn't her wool extraordinary, said all the other sheep. And Lola felt proud and happy. But one hot day, something terrible happened. <gasps> all the sheep had to have a haircut. And Lola's extraordinary wool was gone. Now you'll feel nice and cool, said the dog. But Lola felt ridiculous without her shiny, silky wool. All she wanted to do was hide. So off she went to the far side of the hill where she waited and waited and waited. Little by little, her wool grew back, but Lola's wool didn't grow back shiny or silky. It wasn't even soft. It was wild. It was messy. And it tangled. It's horrible, cried Lola. Oh, she's so sad. Just then a small delicate egg, there it is, landed on Lola's head. But her wool was so thick she didn't even notice. That night was very cold, but the little egg was safe and snug, wrapped in Lola's messy wool. And there it stayed until Lola woke to find a small excited chick sitting on her head. Lola loved the chick's colorful feathers and its beautiful songs. And the chick loved Lola's kindness and her very messy wool. It's so fluffy. It's so warm. Your wool is extraordinary, said the chick each night. And Lola felt proud and happy to have helped her little friend. Lola and the chick had so much fun together. Each day, the chick grew bigger and stronger. And Lola grew bigger and fluffier, but the days were getting hotter and hotter. Whew, I need a haircut, puffed Lola. And I need to see the world, sang the bird. They both knew it was time to say goodbye. The next day, they wished each other good luck and hoped that they'd meet again. Bye, bird. Lola returned to the farm. She didn't look perfect, but it didn't matter. She was so happy to see her friends. Now Lola felt nice and cool, and she no longer missed her shiny, silky wool. This time, when it grew back, she hoped it would be wilder and fluffier than ever before. And it was. And look who came back. Her friend the bird came back. Love you guys. Mwah.